Hey guys, Ian here from Mid America Prep. Thanks for tuning in to another video on the trailer rebuild series. I've got a lot going on in this thing uh, since the last video was posted. Um, several things have not been videoed, which is fine. It kind of sucks for you guys because you kind of missed the spot, but who knows who's watching the videos or who's not. Um, I've got a lot going on. A lot of stuff is kind of at a standstill because it's at that awkward point in the uh, build process, but I got a lot, a lot done. The roof is on, the, or the, the top roof. I have to do the, the uh, front of it here in just a minute. I may, that tie, may, I may tie this piece into the uh, video today. But the top roof is on, and the roof vent is in. I was really kind of contemplating putting one in, but then I was like, my wife was, was telling me, why don't you just do it? Because you're going to want that air in the summertime, whether you use it for a utility trailer or a camper. So I'm like... There's the word, I'm going to get it. So I was looking online at three different places, eTrailer.com, Amazon, or eBay, and the cheaper ones run from anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks, and then the ones with like 12 volt fans in them, those are like 100 to 150 bucks. And so I found my local RV shop, had it for 30 bucks. They hooked me up with a couple of extra things for the same price. They're all in the same bundle, so I paid 30 bucks with a roll of putty tape and a couple other things. So thank you guys very much. You probably won't see this video, but I'm not gonna name drop you because it's fine. Um, but I did put the hole in, the hole in it yesterday, the ceiling. Very intimidating, but the roof vent works. Um, what else is going on? Back here, I have the, the right side of the trailer. The wall is up, or ready to go, except for the vertical somebody putting in it. Um, the outside of it is resined and ready for paint. Um, I'm going to be putting some 1x4 strips, pine strips inside, basically for some uh, anchoring points because not just for some extra rigidity on the frame itself, but I figured that if, if I at least attempt to make it look a little bit better and put some anchoring spots in there, it would help um, on that point. Then over here I have my left left wall ready to go. The door has been cut out, which I think I showed you in the last video, but like I said, I've, I've missed a couple of things in the process just because it was faster and easier for me to not put it in the video than it was to do it. So the door is in, um, or the door is cut out. The sandwich material is good to go. It is actually one and a quarter inches thick. Um, I had to take a half inch and then sandwich it between another half inch and a quarter inch piece of plywood and I give, to give my door some uh, rigidity there around the frame, which you can kind of see the thickness there. And I'll show you those up close later on in the videos. Um, but the back side is fiberglass and then this is ready to go for resin, which is just like the other side. Um, Everything is kind of on kind of on, on a standstill except for the roof getting cut and the front being cut. Um, mainly because um, I have ordered my clearance lights and my little bend light here that's gonna go right here. I have those to be getting in the mail, which those should be here, I think it's Wednesday now, Tuesday. It's Tuesday now. Those should be here Thursday. And so I can go ahead and drill the holes and everything for that at the time. Um, I guess got a bunch of LED lights, a bunch of LED clearance lights and running lights for that reason. So this is really coming along very, very quickly. Um, I have yet to order the, um, the hinges and the door latch because the door is not prepared yet, the rear door. I have yet to get the frame built for that. Um, I was actually thinking about just throwing up wood in the back and calling it good, calling it an enclosed trailer completely like a camper, but you know, getting stuff in and out is going to be much easier with the door. And so I'm going to make sure that I have a quality waterproof sealed door and everything else is going to be good to go. Next big step after that is going to be the wheels. The wheels here are just some four and five and, or five on four and a halves. Um, just standard wheels, but the wheels don't actually match. And so what I'm going to do is um, find some steel, um, some new steel wheels, um, 
I could probably go to 15s, but the problem is, um, overall, the whole thing is kind of shifted weird. There's more fender back here than there is in the front and so on. So um, I'm probably going to stay at 14s. Maybe, I mean, actually, I'll probably go to 15s and get some nice black steel wheels, factory wheels. These are just some old uh, standard truck wheels. I don't know what they're from, but they don't match. The offsets from this side and the other side are completely different. This one sits out here much further than the other one. So I'm not... I'm not worried about the backspacing. I'm not worried with them right now, but I just figured I could, if I'm going to take the time to build this thing, I'm going to build it right, and so that is what it is. Um, but I don't like the thing I showed you my, my color choices, but the fenders and the tongue, um, that's actually going to be black, so it's going to be like a black on gray. And the gray that I'm using, the gray paint that I'm using is this Rust-Oleum top side um, paint for marine coatings. Um, it's extremely hard, or not really extremely hard, but it hardens very nicely, it's waterproof, and it, it works very nice for wood, fiberglass, and metal. And so I've got the metal frame, I've got the wood, and I've got the fiberglass. And so I've tested it out, and it, it applies very, very well using a paintbrush, a roller, and a spray gun. So this whole thing up here is going to be sprayed gray. So it's not going to be much different than what it is now. I mean, it's going to be gray. This is just primer, but... Um, it's just one of those things that I want to make sure it looks good, so that's what I'm doing with it is making sure it looks good. So that's a quick update on it, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this front end um, cut and ready to go because it needs to have the roof on so I can actually join the, the other side and go about its way. So here we go. All right, guys, so I want to apologize for the lack of video today. Um, not a big deal, but the face did get on. It's uh, kind of whitewashing the camera for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that, but then I get really dark when I do it. So anyways, um, it is looking good, coming on along right well. I put a strip of fiberglass woven mat right here. And the reason of that is so I can actually have it set where I need it to be. And then I can route it out without the bolts in place. Um, like I said, this trailer is so out of shape that I need to clean up some areas as opposed to different areas but my wood is cut to square but the trailer is not and so I want the wood to fit the trailer and not the trailer to fit the wood in this case normally I want the trailer to fit the wood uh, you would think you know towards a normal project but this one is not that way so not a big deal is just having to work the opposite as you normally should um, didn't do anything with the driver's side door here, or driver's side panel, but the, um, which you can't see it out here. Alright, maybe you can. This is now been painted with one coat of the gray top coat paint, and the reason why I did that today, uh, I rolled it on, and I rolled it on so it could get a, a nice base on it. Um, since the trailer is already primered, um, it's got a base on it. The wood has the resin on it, but it's not going to stick, you know, hold the paint direct. So I wanted to get a good thin layer on it, which that's, it looks pretty heavy and, and pretty gray, but it's not that gray. You can still see the wood through. And then I can come over here, which maybe the phone will pick this up too. The tan door is now black. Um, I decided that about against that, or to do that, I guess, I decided to do that last minute. Um, I'm going to go with a gray and black theme, um, and, you know, my wheels are going to be black, fender wells and the tongue are going to be black, so, you know, the door ought to be black too, so I'll just use some black glass Krylon to uh, match everything else. So anyways, goodness, this camera is being horrible today. Keep calm and carry on, guys. Stay safe. See you later. If you're interested in seeing picture and video updates days or weeks before a YouTube video, go over to Instagram and follow MidAmerica Prep and Vintage Camper Resto, where I post videos and pictures daily, weeks before YouTube.